Good morning. Good afternoon. Try not to knock things off my desk. All right. Today I'm going to work on shell renderer. Where am I different? I have so many mice and things on my desk. Different keyboards. I have a keyboard for this. I have a keyboard for that. If it was uh, my own computer and not my kid's computer, I would totally be using, what is that thing called? Synergy, software-based KVM. Anyway, hello everybody. So I'm gonna get down into the Android shell renderer and I uh, try to get this uh, gradient working. Um, if you saw on Twitter, I did get it going for iOS, which still needs some love. Um, the way in which it is sizing the CA layer is a total hack. I sized it forcibly, um, and that's not cool. Jurebeck, good morning. Good afternoon. Good, uh, I suppose I could safely say good Wednesday. Yeah, is that something I could safely say? All right. Um, so if we go look at, ooh, give me the cursor. Has it been a productive day for everybody so far? I hope. Um, so it's not gonna be a very fast stream today. It's probably not going to be maybe even a very successful stream today, but uh, progress needs to be made. So we're doing work today. Getting down into the nitty gritties, down to the lower level stuff. Yeah, so here's... um. Here's what I got going for iOS right now. Um, and the thing is, is that the background of the flyout, as you can see over here on the Android side, it really only covers that much of the screen. And then there's a, uh, a view behind it that creates the shadow. Bank holiday in Germany, wunderbar. Very nice. So you get to uh, do some yard work and hang out, lurk on the Twitch. You're not really lurking, you're engaging. I don't, I don't think lurk is a bad word, right? I don't use it poorly. Um, so yeah, the gradient fills uh, this only because <laughs> I gave it a specific width and that's not ideal. The problem is, is like I can change the background color of the, of the white bit and I could totally make that happen on iOS, but CA layer coordinates, uh, bounds and frames, and UI view bounds and frames uh, apparently work quite differently, so. Oh, yeah, my, my new haircut's getting chopped off. Let's fix that. You got more of me. All right, cool. So that's what I want to do. I want to get this gradient going. So the first thing, um, I guess I can show you what I did on the iOS side. Actually, why don't I just relocate this to this side of the screen so that the emulator can just hog that space and we won't be offended. All right, so on the iOS side, I created this renderer, the Zappy Shell Renderer. Um, and uh, as a refresher for how renderers work, you use the assembly export renderer tag. Of course, you need to be extending uh, the appropriate renderer class type. And uh, yeah, then you start overwriting things. Um, so in my case, I'm calling it the Zappy Shell Renderer. Um, it is of type shell which does seem kind of odd that I did type shell instead of shell render. I'm sure I copied this from somewhere. Where to put the emulator? Yeah, isn't it right? I mean, I guess that's why we have multiple screens, but when, uh, when you're streaming and you want to have everything visible to everybody, um, I suppose what could be cool is if I could, this is a little bit of uh, streaming talk, right? Uh, if I could have this as a separate source in OBS, um, I keep looking over here, but uh, if I could have this as a separate source in OBS, then I could overlay it there and not have to um, have it obscuring my view of the um, of the code. That would be interesting. Um, and then I could just set it off to the side on another monitor, which is what I have. I've actually got one, two, three monitors uh, set up here right now. My my whole space is a mess, but I have a I have a Dell, dude. I'm getting a Dell. It's coming tomorrow. It's going to be my streaming machine, and I can just uh, get a, get an actual setup going instead of what I have rigged up right now. 
Um, okay, yeah, so uh, this is my renderer, and then down here, doo -doo -doo -doo, uh, create shell flyout container. Uh, sorry, shell fly, shell, create shell flyout content renderer. Not that you need me to read to you, but. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing here. And then this is all that uh, I get. A, I get a reference to the flyout. I go down and get the view of it because uh, the view controller, this is all iOS native stuff, right? You hate your Dell? Well, I have the XPS uh, 15, which I think is the same thing you have, Dan, right? Uh, or are you talking about your tower? Um, I mean, the, the tower I'm getting is beefy. I'm a little concerned it's going to heat the room. Because one of the nice things about the uh, machine my, my son built for his gaming, which is what I'm using, is it's got those giant fans that it's, it's like super quiet. And it's quite fast. Yeah, but I do not like the XPS 15. It's bulky. The camera is in the hinge. So if you ever try to use the camera, it's either looking at your fingers or up your nose. Yeah, the 15. Yeah, I haven't had the crashing problems you have. I did have quite a few problems with um, Hypervisor and uh, all that jazz uh, where it would not boot at all if I had it in the wrong configuration. So once I got that worked out, things seemed to have stabilized and I just stopped screwing with my configuration because it was working. Uh, all right. Um, so I need to do something similar to this. Uh, so this is nice because now I know my colors, um, my RGBs for my gradient. So how do I do this on the Android side? So the first thing that I wanted to take a look at, let's close my mail. Let's first close my mail. I did make sure that my notifications are on the other screen. That's good. Okay, so... Um, I had another IDE open. Where is it? There it is. So I pulled the forms code late, the latest forms code, so that I could more easily explore it. I typically like to explore forms code uh, in GitHub, but uh, sometimes searching and things like that within a particular scope is difficult there, as we all know. Where is the... Doo -doo. Like I said, too many mice. Thanks everyone who's uh, coming in, joining. Yeah, you do the good definition. That's uh, that's that's probably one of the bigger ones, right? For me, anyway. All right. Uh, test beds, no pages, gallery, no platforms. Where is the shell stuff? It's actually probably down in here, isn't it? All right, shell. Yep, all the interfaces. Shell flyout content renderer. Okie dokie. I don't need you. Well, this is where the Android emulator is in the way. Okay. And actually, I had an idea. Um, since you all are here, I have a question for you. Um, so the IDE, right, uh, especially Visual Studio on Windows, they're just doing a Mac is less, less features, so there's less clutter. But all these buttons, all this clutter, like I know I could go through and I could, you know, edit these things and hide these things and whatever, but what I really would love to have is like a workspace up in here, right, that just says, I'm a mobile developer, give me the mobile stuff. Or I just want to focus and you using cognitive services, telemetry, whatever. Learn my what I use on a regular basis and just give me that. Give me an give me a layout optimized for what I use. Like uh, data sources. I never use this. Why is this here? Goodbye. But I have to go do that, right? And uh, wouldn't it be nice? Team Explorer. Do I care about teams? I don't use this. I guess I should start trying to use the this stuff here. But I've got other Git flow stuff that I do. Um, maybe I'm missing out. But um, I don't feel like I'm missing out. So anyway, I mean, uh, there probably are things that I could benefit from. 
And I would like the IDE to make those as recommendations to me if I put myself into a mode that is a optimized for me and for my workflow mode. I feel like that would drastically simplify the UI because I feel like I'm drowning in, in, in stuff here that I'd, I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I don't know what it means. I, I don't, I mean, I guess that's a, that's a, that is a git thing. No commits. Like I've never even looked at this stuff because it's just cluttered in my eyes initially. And I, yeah. Anyway, anybody else have thoughts on that? Yeah, I went to the uh, the features report uh, thing to suggest a, a, a thing, but if it does, I, I wasn't able to find it. I was searching for words like workflow, panels. Uh, I guess that we have these window layouts. Maybe this is what I'm thinking. But there are none. There, there's. Well, I guess I have to save them, manage window layouts. Yeah, there's like nothing here. I would want... Maybe we can make one. Maybe we can make one that we think is optimized for Xamarin development and distribute it somehow. I don't see a way to import and export, but maybe, you know, maybe we could insert that as a default. I personally would find that to be really, really useful. Um, sounds like at least a couple of you don't think it's a horrible idea. None of IDEA's uh, IDEs provide that? Are you sure? I feel like they do. I know that the Adobe tools, that's always been something that in the Adobe tools you get with Photoshop and Illustrator and Flash uh, had that. Or yeah, or an extension. Whatever it takes. Anyway, I was dealing with that frustration this morning or last night when I was coming back into Windows land from spending a few weeks in, in Mac land. Um, okay, so why am I here? I am here to look at what the heck this thing is made of. So we've got the header view. I need to find my content view um, so I can deal with the background. This is of type navigation view. Uh, match with header view. So I, I'm going to leave the header alone. Build menu. Generate flyout grouping. So this is doing the data and whatnot, right? Building a menu. Is menu an actual uh, navigation view dot menu? So I'm not familiar with navigation view, so I should probably at this point, go look that up. All right, Android navigation view. If anybody knows and wants to educate me as we go, I'm more than happy to uh, take notes from you. I don't mind learning. This is a learning stream. Navigation view is a frame layout. Okie dokie. And whoops. I mean, what did I just do? Oh, I just hit all kinds of wrong keys. Feedback hub? Never seen that before. <laughs> well, Malcolm here on Twitter, sorry, I just got distracted, uh, just posted that he had a gradient issue in the Android emulator, API level 28. So maybe I should read this and find out if I'm walking into something here. Gradient uh, view doesn't render properly on macOS emulator 9. Okay. Same project works as expected on Windows. Well, I'm on Windows, so that's that's a good start for us. I suppose, well, I'm not going to do this right now, but uh, the pancake view does support gradients, does it not? <laughs> Yield pancake view. All right. Unexpected macOS. Oh, it looks like it just flat out 
It's not really a grading issue so much as it exceeded the bounds. Curious. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does Chris say? Reproduces as described. Oh. You know, October of last year. Oh, is this a workaround? Looks like uh, we do. All right, viewcompat.set background, this gradient. I wonder if that's uh, essentially what I'm after here. So I was going to search for background, item background, drawable, get item background. I don't really want the item background. I want the background of the whole honking thing, which I'm going to guess probably gets inherited. Okay, get background. What am I looking at, though? Feel like it just dropped me. I'm not uh, super familiar with how Android organizes. Okay, so from class view, right? So this is the inherited class or extended class or whatever we call it. So I'm assuming there's going to be a set background down here, which I can scroll to my little yellow marks. Set drawing cache, set background. Um, Set background. What was that other one doing? It was doing set background. Okay, this dot gradient. So I guess the question then is, how do we do a gradient? Gradient drawable. Is that a thing? Gradient, linear gradient, start and tile mode. I'm just totally copying code from over here. Suppose this is doable with a drawable. Huh? Xamarin Android gradient. Yep, Skia. Mm -hmm. Big lab, bag labs, bag labs. Who's bag labs? I don't think I've. I, well, it's oh, it's uh, it was colored. I've clearly been here before. Defining the renderer. Dun, 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 gradient property. Button iOS, Android. Okay, gradient drawable is a thing. Uh, anybody have a preference? Gradient drawable as opposed to uh, Android graphics linear gradient? So in that particular case, they were doing it on a gradient box view. All right, let's try one. I guess maybe the first thing I can do before I get too far into the gradient space is make sure that I'm adding this to the right thing. Um, okay, so there's a menu. That's really all there is in here. Okay. So I get the flyout. This is my Android renderer, is it not? That's the iOS one. Glad I looked. All right, droid renderers. Whoops, don't do that. Let's close these other things to get them out of the way. Ooh, there is one other thing that I wanted to take care of real quick because the tabs kept showing up or keep showing up by default, and I want the flyout to show up by default real quick. So the first page that gets loaded is this one. So I'm going to come in here and tell it to not do so. Well, that is curious. Maybe I'm wrong about that. What is showing up first? Main page, latest, main page. Oh, main page is showing up first. Got it. It's not even wired up to show late, latest yet. Tab bar is visible, true. Flyout behavior disabled. Oh, oh, Shane. I think I found a bug. Prince Hugh, good morning, good afternoon. Or it's evening for you, right? Hello. I just need to start saying good Wednesday. How's your uh, reload coming? Making progress. 
so flyout's supposed to be disabled here, Shane, and it's not. As you can clearly see, tis not what happened. Is that because I'm doing it here? And if I were to do it, oh, that is why it's happening. This is the issue I filed before. This is the one I filed before. So I could do that, and then that would work. Because flyout happens at the global level. Oh, it reloaded. Nice. Live XAML works. There we go. Uh, so not a new issue. Same, same old complaint that I have. What if it's Thursday where they are? Well, I, I don't know that that's the case yet. Is it, is it Thursday somewhere yet? I feel like I'm early enough in the day. Is it? It is. It's Thursday in Sydney. But if anybody's watching at 123, is anybody from Sydney on? Anybody in Australia? Is anybody in Thursday watching? Yeah, it's 1, 1.23 a.m. in Sydney. And now I'm looking at pictures of Sydney and wondering when I get to go there. Thanks, man. Thanks for distracting me. Okay. So actually what I want to do is the opposite. I'm going to hide that tab bar. It's the nature of streams. It's fine though. The interaction's worth it. So that doesn't work flat out. And I already, I already complained about that. Still working on it, trying to simplify integration so the developer would not need to write any code integration. Yep. Uh-huh. Well familiar with that uh, conundrum. Are you having fun though with uh, working on the the hot reload? You're learning some things. You're feeling good about it. I think the journey is often well worth the uh, the whole exercise. Tab bar is false. Flyout is flyout. Flyout is flying out. There we go. So now we're to where I want to be. Um, it would be nice if I could just keep the flyout open. Cool. Are you getting help from anybody? I mean, I know that um, we have some chat rooms for like live reload and things like that. Um, from the old experiment that we did. Uh, Daniel Casalino tends to be a good resource to point people in the right direction. We love, we love to help. Um, so I have that. So now let's just try to change the color or something. And of course, as soon as I do anything down here in the render, I will have to recompile, which is a drag, but that's just how it goes. So I'm going to stop running. Uh, if anybody has questions as I'm going, feel free to shout. Android view. Okay, that's the view. So I can go ahead and set background right here. I just want to try to set the color and see what happens. Red. IntelliCode says red. Did you see that? That's pretty funny. <laughs> We're getting IntelliCode suggestions for colors. It does not like this, though, because it's trying to use a forms color. To Android, por favor. Working alone, yeah. Yeah, time is uh, time is hard to come by, isn't it? I feel quite privileged that I uh, get the liberty to do this, to do something that I really, really enjoy as my day job. All right, so the flyout background should be red. Do we agree? Do you concur? What's going to happen? Oh, I keep trying to move my cursor all the way over to this computer over here, and that is just never going to work. It's never going to happen. Here we go. 
Really looking forward to the uh, load times. Actually, that is a little bit faster than it has been for me. Load times on shell improving. We have red background. We loving it or what? So we at least know we're working on the right view. So, man, if this is so much easier than iOS, I'm just going to really be super happy. Okay. So I had actually, yeah, I'd copied some code. Hmm. I'm back. Uh, <laughs> I uh, I didn't imagine that I would be working for Microsoft myself, but here I am, and I love it. Fantastic company. Can't recommend it enough. It's not perfect. Got lots of uh, improving yet to do, but quite proud to be here. Gets me to gets me to meet all of you, honestly. I think that's the coolest thing. Whenever I go tell university students or anything about what we're doing, um, that's one of the main things that I that I share with them. So I don't know why this thing is doing that. Maybe this isn't what I want after all. I guess it's drawing directly into the box view, which the box view is something from this other sample. And it uses paint to set a shader and then applies the paint to the canvas. Canvas being what? I think that's the missing link for me on this particular sample. Oh, it's using the draw method. I don't think I need this. I don't think this is what I want. Can I please recommend someone who I could contact for help regarding .NET model runtime? So if you have questions regarding the model runtime, you can absolutely file issues on their GitHub. Um, uh, Rich Lander is the, um, the program manager for it. So let me look up Rich for you real quick. If you start with Rich, he can kind of direct you to the best place to get help or provide feedback. So he is run R2000 or something like that, but run faster 2000, rich. So he'd be a good place to start. Yeah, thanks, Dan. Uh, okay, I'm going to get rid of that. That's not what I want at all. I had, uh, had something else from another page didn't I creating gradients in Xam and Android okay has colors does a binding gradient view renderer oh this is this is oh that's not really what I was looking for this is it So it's using this gradient drawable and then just setting it. So let's try that. That sounds sounds like a good plan. No problem. Yeah, if anybody ever has a question about who to reach out to, who's the right person, definitely hit me up. Um, we have published some of that information in various presentations. I, um, I need to get back to this, but we talked about posting uh, like a directory up on our Xamarin, like github.com slash Xamarin, um, in addition to other central, centrally useful information. But uh, that hasn't made it at the top of my list yet. Okay, this is a thing. It is a thing. Good, good, good. Left to right, no, sir. No, 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 no. 
bottom top. Oh, does it always take uh, an array? Do I need to go ahead and make myself an array? One overload. How do I see the overloads? Do I have to go inside here and then wait? How do you get to, get to see that? I feel like if I moused over or used my arrows or some other magic. I guess I'm looking at the overload, aren't I? Oh, there it is. Yep, I need to do. colors. I need a uh, from RGB. And I guess I could just come, excuse me, scroll direction wrong way. Grab that one. Yeah. To Android. And do the same thing. I kind of uh, keep looking over at the chat, waiting for somebody to yell at me that I don't know how to do C sharp. <laughs> uh, definitely, I don't know if it's imposter syndrome or just reality. I uh, can't remember the last time somebody gave me a code review. Okay, so then... Right? I should be able to do this. No. Cannot convert from gradient drawable to color. Set background drawable. Well, it's turned a different color of something. Obsolete, deprecated. So, potential fixes. Probably just going to say set background. <laughs> All you did was told me more of the same. Yeah, it probably is. I just, uh, part of me was curious to see what the suggestion was going to be before I just tried set background. All right. Odds, odds on uh, if this is going to work. I feel like I just constantly want to pull people for, is it going to work? Uh, man, that build time was much faster. And I'm working down on the Android renderer. Good job, Android team. Good job. What? It stinking works. It stinking works. Oh, I hate the uh, spacing and sizing of those menu items. I can work on that. All right. Woohoo. A little celebration dance. Goodbye. Fantastic. All right. Uh, so I just want to get rid of that flyout background, the header background. Why do you even have a background? Who set the flyout header background? Where's that even coming from? Because I don't have it on iOS. The G903 battery level is at 30%. Oh, is that this thing? It is. So this is my son's uh, gaming mouse. It is like really expensive, I think. Logitech G903. Kid makes money. Spends it on uh, gaming gear, and uh, <laughs> when he got it, he came home, and he goes, look at this. Look at that. That's amazing. And he just kept clicking it. He's like, the response, the response on the click. He was so excited about it. If you can't tell, he plays a game where he needs to do a lot of clicking. So I'm super curious. Let's go look at our styles here real quick. 
Shell background color, foreground color, etc., etc. Minesweeper? No, not Minesweeper. League of Legends. Longtime League of Legends fan. Friend of mine, um, I think still works for League of Legends. He's been there since they were a startup before Riot became a big deal. Back before they were a big deal. Been there a long time. So I don't see where it would be. I guess it must be inheriting the background color and sending it to the flyout. Or the foreground, I guess. What is... Can I not mouse over these things and see colors? That's very annoying. All right, let's just... Um, background color transparent. Nope. Not good enough. Not good enough. This is going to be a problem. I can feel it. So fly out header. It's not going to be the behavior. All right. Can we use the gradient box view plugin? Good question. Well, so the, the main issue being that I don't think that I could, uh, unless I can assign it to the background color of the flyout in forms, then I couldn't use it. Because in order to get to the layer that I'm setting this at, I don't have that in the forms layer. I'm looking at, uh, I need to get the link on the other screen so that I can, oh, I also need to turn my audio off. Uh, creator dashboard, live chat. Oh, really? You're not going to give me the chat here either? Be that way. Let's look at that real quick. So I'll go here. If I just keep opening tabs for all the things we reference, then I kind of have a history and I could share it later. That would be interesting. An empowered Xamarin Forms box view with two color gradients. Interesting, I have never seen this one. If you're looking for more complex gradients, XF Gloss, which I have seen XF Gloss before. Have you used this one, Prince You? Oh, Marcos is doing this. Marcos, Marcos, Marcos. Oh, this is all Marcos. Is this his uh, GitHub? Javier, do you know what this is? Uh, the goal is primarily to get that gradient background. Yeah, that was, and I thought it was going to take much longer than it did. <laughs> uh, so that was the primary goal. Um, now we are hitting the issue of that uh, flyout header is wrong. And then I'll get into styling the uh, buttons themselves. And if I have uh, the icons, then I'll go ahead and add icons as well. Um, I would love to know what this is all about because I know Marcos. It's definitely coming out of Spain. Yep. Ooh, this looks like some rich stuff to check out. I'll have to ask Javier when he's uh, available what this is all about. That's cool. Let's just uh, let's just merge it all, Shane. Let's just bring it all in, man. All the things. 
I don't personally mind using NuGet packages. However, I know that that's a hindrance for a lot of people to absorb and to use these things easily. It's also a lot, not the most discoverable thing, but um, so that's why I'm I'm biased towards merging these things. Okay, so this is a problem. I don't know how to get to that background color. I mean, I guess I can just come back down here to the shell renderer, right? Um, we had the header. Where was that? I know that there's a header here somewhere. Or we were looking in the forms code, weren't we? It's not public. Flyout content renderer header view. Um, so it is the second or second. It's the it's the second. So I guess I could just go get the children and go find it. It's also a reality that your project will absorb stuff from across NuGet, and that's not even a Xamarin thing. It's just working with .NET. You are right, Dan. It is. I'm sensitive to situations where uh, where people are making apps, and they need to go through uh, government approval regulations, uh, different regulatory bodies, and get approval. Um, as well as just internal approvals. And um, when to do th things that are quite common for modern apps, like a parallax scroll, for example, or gradients becoming more popular, um, taking on those third-party dependencies becomes a problem. I mean, I'm sure that uh, Prism gets that question on occasion, right? And any changes to those third parties force you to go back through that regulatory process. So I don't need all this iOS reference code. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. So how do I fly out? Android view apparently is da -da -da, children. Views. Find views with text. How do you go about find view by ID, find view with tag? What is the right way to do this? What is the expedient way to do this? One of the reasons we ship both NuGet and raw binaries. What, is the, uh, what do the raw binaries do for you differently than shipping the NuGet? That's not something I am well versed in the benefits one way or the other. In this case, educate me, Dan. Stop, stop working. Stop billing and educate me. Um, so I need to get header view. Header view does not appear to have an ID set. Would header view just be it? Add header view. Where does this go? It goes right into the navigation view. I see. It's a method of the navigation view. Why people are anti-nougat? Well, it's not that they're anti-nougat. It's just the, uh, in my opinion, the, um, well, so I think there's two reasons. Um, hey, I'll go back to the full me since I'm speaking. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. The Sony, oh, the Sony went to sleep. No big deal. All right. So the uh, there's two reasons, I think. One is the regulatory body kind of just difficulty that I mentioned. Um, when you have multiple dependencies that are basically that way. There's the licensing aspect to it. There's also just the, you know, if they, if they rev a version of it, then you might have to go back through approval processes just to be able to use that dependency. So there's that aspect of it. Um, the other aspect is, is when you have a lot of NuGet packages in a Xamarin Forms application, um, it, it can create complexity with tooling 
it can create uh, problems with performance, in particular Android startup. Um, and so you need to do additional work to reduce that, uh, that burden, um, whether it's the performance, whether it's the size of the APK file. Um, there is work that has uh, been happening within Xamarin Forms itself that will be able to hopefully uh, productize and ship that allows you as a developer to prioritize the loading of those assemblies that will impact the startup performance of your Android application, if that makes sense. Dan is saying uh, regulatory concerns. Some companies just aren't sure how to do anything modern. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have to, that when you have policies and processes in place, especially in larger organizations, government bodies being one, uh, pharmaceuticals where, and medical where, um, you know, the impact of the changes that you make could have direct impact on the health and well-being of a person. Um, you know, those are, those are real, real valid reasons. Um, I have been fortunate in that most of my code doesn't, uh, it, it can't harm anybody. <laughs> um, but I have worked in uh, applications where it was for the NFL, uh, where they were just starting to really promote the dangers of concussions um, and educate people on what that was all about, educate uh, other coaches and, and sports teams, especially at the, at the youth level, on the severity of it. And so we built some educational um, training, I guess you, you would call it. Yeah, I call it training. Um, very cool projects, had a lot of fun on it, but it had to go through the CD, um, CDC for government approval. I can't remember. Yeah, it was CDC. I guess it was they sponsored it, and uh, the NFL also sponsored it. So cool stuff, but frustrating stuff. Um, all right, so how should I get a reference to this head review? Or let's go look at the appearance real quick because the way in which colors and everything gets applied, it's all in the appearance classes. Toolbar appearance tracker. Is there no flyout appearance tracker? Flyout renderer. Scrim. What's the scrim, Shane? Just keep referencing Shane. I'm not actually expecting Shane to pay attention to everything I'm saying. But I know he's been in here. Do do so oh I don't have a trackpad. So well, that's that's uh, gray, right? So that's not what's causing me grief here. Attaching the flyout. Is it applying colors in here somewhere? Oh gosh darn it! Stop hitting that key. Coming back uh, to Windows from Mac, you just start hitting all the wrong keys. My fingers just need to get refamiliarized. Control, not command. Um, set scrim color, 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 color. That's all that's happening there. Okay. So, um, nav view appearance, bottom nav view appearance. Nope. Nope. So the appearance classes, it's not a tab. Let's go here. Is it touching the fly out here? Doesn't appear to be. I should probably move this down so you can see what I'm typing into. Yeah, go ahead. You'll just be on, on for the world to see. My daughter's taking my guitar. Take take care of my guitar. I'm just a I'm just a rental service some point they'll pay me back, right? Foreground, foreground. So, I mean, it is getting the appearance here for something and setting it somewhere. All right, let's start searching. Why did you put that all the way over there? Fly out. 
and um, current project includes subfolders. Do I need to? I don't even do that. All right, find all. Failure to do so results in padding. Where is this happening? All right, uh, flat recycler adapter. We already looked in the flat render. Content renderer. Flyout templated content renderer. Not real familiar with this one. Let's look. Let's look what's in here. Header container. Shell flyout. What is header container? It's a container view. It does a layout. Padding, 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 view to layout. Okay, so there's no appearance or styling being applied there. Back to the top. But we know this is the piece that we're probably concerned about. Okay, so it's going to take the flyout header and it's going to put it in here, set the minimum height, add it to the app bar. So if I'm reading this correctly, then does this mean that it's always going to get the same color as the app bar? Resource ID, flyout content, app bar. Is that us? Is that an us thing? Resources. Layouts. Flyout content. background light color. Uh, I don't know why I'm waiting for the designer to load. I'm not going to use it. Um, can, I just, can I just ditch that? What does that do? Is that even, is that even us? May not even be us. Kind of, kind of at that grasping at straws point. Everything was going so well. What is this shell content one? That might be interesting to look at too. Don't want you. Don't need you. Okay, app bar layout, toolbar, nested scroll view. Using the coordinated lay coordinator layout, which I think is what is the basis that will give us the ability to continue to build on this and do some pretty nice transitions and cool things. Did we not? We, we must have failed. What did we fail on? Error list. We failed on a lot of things. Oh, where am I? Oh, gosh, darn it. I'm, I'm hitting build inside of this instead of my project. That... Uh, that it's clearly a bad idea. It's never going to happen. Well, it'll happen if I fix everything, but it's not what I meant to do anyway. All right, resources. Layout. Toolbar. Learn. Learn from me. If I keep closing you, there's a reason. All right, let's see what happens here. Whoa. 
once again, need to work on my uh, keyboard skills. Did not build. Build failed. Rut row. What uh, what did we fail on? There's no there's no message. There's no nothing. There's no nothing. Don't know what you want from me. Clean, close the yellow bar. So, okay, well that's good news. That's that's important to know. Ah, I uh, did not complete doing anything of value there. So let's close that. Let's go again. Going again. All right, yeah, this, well, this build's taking a little bit longer. It's because I was down there in that resource. So if you're ever wondering why some builds take longer than others, there's just a lot more build tasks being triggered in this case. You can do it. All right, I pinged the team to see if they would help me. Calling all rescuers. Didn't do jack. Didn't do a thing. So I, what I, where is the inspector? Do we not have an inspector here anymore? Edit, other windows, other, hang on. Inspector. Oh, I have to install it? Let's go install it. Uh, so I want the inspector so that I can uh, figure out what the heck this thing is and just confirm that it is what I think it is. Then maybe I can get to it somehow, some way. This is real life. Okie dokie, installing. It's only 85 meg. Love it. Visual Studio will close and reopen. Thank you for doing that for me. Thank you. You're so nice. Whoops. Whoops. Put you there. While that's happening, um, where were we? We were here, sure. Um, so this is part of navigation view. So it has this header view and we're sticking a view inside of it. So if this Looks like it's done. It's finishing. Finishing up. Can I get the header view? 
get header view. Looky there. Maybe I can just do this. The coffee has gone cold. Wah, wah. Okay, where are we at? So close. Not that one. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to click you. Sorry, not sorry. All right, Zappy. So, uh, So I should be able to go fly out dot Android. Yeah, I get it. You want my attention. You can go away. Fly out dot Android view, which is a navigation view, get header. Get. <laughs> you can do it. So I'm probably need to cast this, yeah. So navigation view. an index. I'm going to go with zero. Betting on zero. All right. And assuming that this actually gives me something useful, then I'm going to say header dot background color. And then we will go with Android graphics color transparent. What do we think? And since we have the inspector now, we should be able to inspect once we get this thing running, I think. We shall see. Oops. Oh, I hate that. I hate that when it steals your focus when you're typing elsewhere. I did not want you. Did not ask for you to steal focus. Um, okay, didn't like that. Not bad. What are you? What are you really? You are the coordinator layout. Okay. Okay. Where's the forms code? Not worried about that. Don't really want you. So it's grabbing this. But I would have thought, oh no, it's grabbing this. And then I guess I need the app bar layout that's inside of it, which we have this ID for it. If I am understanding correctly what this thing is telling me. Um. All right, let's just try it. Let's pretend like we know what we're doing. Sometimes that's the best way forward. Seems reasonable anyway. Um, 
Uh-oh. Need to get out of this project. Wrong one. I almost want to color code them. All right, so this is a cord coordinator layout. Um, it's a CL. Just, I know. Shorten to the point. So uh, then I want the app bar if, if, if this is right. And we'll set a breakpoint and check this out. Um, app bar? App bar layout, probably. Um, sorry, CL dot get child at zero. I guess I didn't need the extra thingy. Parentheses. <laughs> exactly. No idea what I'm doing. Gonna figure it out. I'm not scared. Not scared. And so the header. If uh, if I'm doing this correctly, would be the first child here. That is the app bar. So far as the app bar, what I want. Oh, I skipped right over what I thought I was getting, which was the navigation thing. Fly out content. Okay. All right. I think this is totally going to blow. I think this is totally wrong. But what I'll do first is just debug this, set a breakpoint, and see what see what's what. Mm. Well, we'll see what's what here, because we know that's a coordinator layout. It told us so last time. So we should at least be able to break here, inspect it, interrogate it, see what's going on. All right. I got you, babe. Yeah, probably want this. The view group. Children, there are two of you. Hello, children. And then, oops, can I not do that? This is kind of weird. So the children view group, sure. Which way can we go? Not really seeing how do I get to the how do I get to the children's locals? Maybe this will be easier to navigate. Or is this why some people use the immediate window? <laughs> uh so this is the CL, which is the coordinator widget. Keep digging, keep digging. We've got an object. What type are you? You're a view group. Gradient drawable, which is what I just gave you. Hmm. 
Hmm. You have two children, or is that your? You are the. Looks like I might have to go get this with code. I can't inspect it. Thought I could inspect, see all of my children. Because that's really what I want. Well, why don't we try this? Let's continue. Now we are running. And is my inspector wise? My inspector is not lit up. Que pasa? Dear inspector, do you want to come to work today? So sometimes that's because you don't have the right login. This is my login. It's licensed Visual Studios Enterprise. I should be getting an inspector. Does the inspector not work on Android? I don't know. Just don't know. All right. So Shane is instructing me that uh, we should be able to search for it by type. And it's of type container view. Let's just stop. So let's, uh, da -da -da, let's go here. I guess we could do this off of the flyout itself. Flyout dot android view dot get children of type oh not here maybe I do need to do it from the coordinator There is no get children of type. I need to do it from this. Oh, it's internal. Thanks, man. Yep, that is a sad panda, is it not? So uh, this is one of the really good reasons to do exercises like this before we ship something as stable. If something like this is just so darn hard to get to and figure out, we have some improvement to make. Is it that I should be doing this not here in the content renderer? I wonder, is this my is this my mistake? I'm in the wrong place. Um shall fly out renderer as opposed to the content renderer. Wonder if this is what I need to be where I need to be. Wow, type, typing, typing is hard. Shane says it is the flyout content render, so we'll leave that as it is for the moment. In case I do need to come back to it. Wow, 
I do not grasp I'm looking at some code that Shane is sharing with me. Um, yeah, it is there. Flyout dot. Android view. Hmm. And how do I get a reference to that? So I guess I need to set this type then. So he's saying that this is a navigation view. So var, uh, I'll just do it like this. Get header view index of zero. Told you it was going to be a grind. Gosh. That's one thing I do miss the ability to move my cursor right where I want it. So this would be the header. Whoops. And if that is accurate, then I could set the background color to the Android graphics color transparent. Why can I not seem to get that key? I heard a bloop bloop. I don't know where that came from. Where did the bloop bloop come from? Oh, probably Discord. Yep, it was Discord. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. Start your engines. Yes, do that. Nope. Nope. Specified cast, not valid. Create shell flyout content renderer is not returning a navigation view. But we think it is a navigation view. So where's the disconnect? What am I missing? Okay. Um. Hmm. 
What's flyout? Flyout is a uh, coordinator layout, or what is it? Shell flyout templated content renderer. Templated content renderer. So I think this is another one of those cases where we might have uh, some refactored code that's lingering and confusing me at least. So this is the flyout templated renderer as opposed to the shell flyout content renderer. This one. Why do we have two of these? And is this one even used? Is the shell flyout content renderer even used? I guess if I had source link, I could, I, I'd have more luck here. Okay, let's do this. So that's what it is. Let's treat it as such and see what we can get. Yeah, good thing we found that, huh? See, this this all pays off. This all pays off. Wish I wasn't the one that had to find it, but I'll call it a win for now. All right, so first of all, that's that. Um, I guess I... What do we have? We have the Android view. All right, so we've been barking up the wrong tree. That's what this comes down to. Been looking at look at a renderer that has been ditched, orphaned, left out to dry, which is would would be super confusing for all of our users if they were to go looking for this, just like I am. So yeah, I think it is part of the app bar. So how do I get the app bar? How does one get it for the for the flyout? Because if I change the app bar color, I'm concerned. Or if I monkey with it here, I'm concerned that I'm going to break it uh, in the app itself or change the display of it. All right. Mm -hmm. But is that going to change it just for the header? Let's go back to that coordinator layout that I had before. And see if we can get a reference to the app bar. What? What? Get child, get child. All right. 
Sorry, Shane is uh, giving me advice over here in Slack. Thank you, Shane. So we think we can just get a quick reference to the element that we need this way to get me moving, but I think we should absolutely revisit this whole topic. Uh, it should be super easy to deal with that background. Ooh, it doesn't look like we can do that. We can't chain the get children. Probably would have to cast it somehow. Uh, do we know what the first child is? Is it the app bar? Probably. We think it's an app bar. Oh, good grief. Well, let's do it this way. Um, I think it is the app bar is what we think it is. We'll check that out. And then bar, hopefully, my header. Cast the first one to a view group, you think? Part of me really enjoys giving these variables nonsense names because I know it's going to drive some people bananas. Yeah. And then if that is true, stop being cute. Dare you, dare you to blow up. Double dog dare you. Just remembered where I uh, picked up the bananas. That would be Scrubs. Any, any Scrubs fans in the house? That was a darn funny show. Well, it did not blow up, and it did not change the background color. Let's go see what we got. Do over. Spilling water. This is not where I thought we would spend our time today. I thought the gradient was going to be hard. So funny. Okay, so app bar layout is what this first one really is. And the next one is the shell flyout templated content renderer, header container. So I feel like we got what we wanted why where is that background color getting applied i think that that where's that blue coming from is the really curious part and actually i'm wondering gosh i wish oh the inspector is working do i have to be on a breakpoint for the inspector to work that seems really odd um, I'm wondering if uh, if that gradient is just not going all the way up, and that might be part of the issue. No, because when it was white, like maybe that gradient is not being applied to the right thing, and so it's not even going all the way up. Even if it were transparent, we wouldn't be getting what we want. I'm curious. I think that might be a might be a problem. 
I must have to be on a breakpoint to get the stinking inspector to work. That. All right. Well, let's do this. And let's pause. Is that a thing? It's not a thing. <laughs> Can't just pause. Wah, wah. Uh, the gradient is applied right here to the coordinator layout, it looks like. Yep. Or whatever. Yeah, the coordinator layout. Because that's what that is. Try setting it on the app bar. So we think that uh, G, well, G says it's the app bar layout. Is that what I want to set it to? Or maybe this, no, this was the, no, 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 no. What was the chime? Something chimed. Somebody followed. Thank you. I, uh, I think you should get double, double reward for following while I uh, ramble on about Android gradients. Yeah, set it on the G and header. And header? <laughs> Why don't we do this? Why don't we? Let's let's get rid of this. Let's just start putting colors, right? I mean, this is what we would do normally. So we would do, okay, G, set background color. Can I can I actually use this? Will this, will this do a set? Instead of all that setter business. No, I didn't like that at all. What is this? It is a get set. For, oh, it's a drawable. Uh -huh. Set background color. All right, I'll be a good boy. <sighs> Reminds me of the... Um, was it an XKCD or something like that? Uh, is that what that thing's called? Yeah, anyway. Uh, where it's like fail, 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 fail. I'm a hero. <laughs> I'm super smart. I'm an idiot. I don't know anything. The ups and downs life cycle of a uh, software developer. Nope. I thought I was copying that. Green. Oh, I liked that. Gave me uh, IntelliCode stars. Okay. Um, and actually, put a color here as well. And you can be purple. Peach puff. <laughs> Let's do peach puff. Never even noticed that color before. Whoa. Well, that's a problem. Let me plug in. Plug in while we're building. Okay. Okay. So the green is what we want. The green is that header. It is that background, which is what I tried to set as transparent previously, and it still showed a blue. I don't know why you would be freaking out. Interesting. All right. And the peach is that color there which is what our uh, background gradient is, which is wonderful. So, and nowhere did red show up. If I set the header to transparent, guessing I'll see red, huh? You think so? I was about to do all that. 
All right. Place your bets. Got about 15 minutes left. Yep, you are correct. It is red. Yeah, I can't can't do that. Someday. All right. Run that again. You win all the cookies. I will absolutely. Well, we're going to see each other in a few days, right? Shane in uh, Seattle, so I will buy you cookies. Game of Thrones uh Oreos which you just had to buy at the store. You don't need more of those, do you? All right, it is peach all the way up. Look at that hideous, what? Drop shadow thing going on? Hideous. I mean, the peaches. Build cookies. They probably will have themed cookies and themed foam on your espresso and... I don't know. I don't. I don't get that. I just want the. I just want the good coffee. Why you gotta? Why you gotta print logos on my coffee? If if nobody knows what I'm talking about, that's something that Microsoft events tend to have is cool little gadget that'll print things on the foam of your coffee. Makes it go. The the build theme coffee would have a lot of caffeine. Make it go faster. All right, progress, this is progress. Thank you, Shane, so very, very much. Um, okay, so the app bar is probably doing the shadow. I don't even know what to look for. Don't even know. Is it a... Let's Google. Dear Google, my Android app bar has a shadow that offends me at my core. Uh, Ricky Schroeder was arrested for domestic violence. Oh, no. I really don't like seeing news blurbs. Just turn that off. Hide my shadow. Remove the shadow below the action bar. It looks like it's more than just below it, though. It looks like it's all around it. Oh, yeah. Man, I have, like, zero luck doing stuff like this. Very rarely works out for me. Very rarely. Um, but what I will do, so we'll come back over here and get rid of the peach puff. Um, yep, we'll just do you. You do you. Nice. That'll give us that. Come back over here. I don't, I don't want that. Don't want that. Hide the app or no, don't want to hide it. Remove the shadow below the app. I think I need to get more specific. First of all, I only want recent answers. Um, Android navigation view. We still are using the navigation view, are we not? Maybe we're not. I guess I should go to the templated thing and confirm. Sweet. Got my gradient going all the way. Love it. Overlapping shadow if it remains. Let's, let's go triple check this real quick. Xamarin Forms. Here comes FedEx. Dude, if FedEx has my computer, I will freak out. They definitely have a habit of uh, not telling you what's happening and then just showing up with the stuff that you want. 
early. I never really understood that. Don't think there is navigation. Okay, so that was part of the other renderer. Um, I see a big box. This is my computer. It's going to be a very nice Wednesday for me. Come on. We don't usually get FedEx. It's usually brown, usually UPS. Under promise, over deliver. It's just, I, f I get frustrated with it. I mean, and the package is only coming from El Paso, Texas, so it's not like it was very far. Although, the if it was coming by ground, it would not be a very direct route. Anyway, all right. <laughs> you, don't, you didn't come here to watch me look for the uh, package to come to my door. Um, you were born in El Paso? What's it like? I've never been to El Paso. All right. You drop something at the door. Hold, please. Not my computer. It's my son's Adidas. Adidas. <laughs> yeah, that would have been awesome if it was a zappy package delivery. Yeah. I could unbox my kids' Adidas. They're probably... Pape bought them himself. He's got a job. Uh, okay, so no navigation view. So what, what, uh, what, 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 what is this thing? So it is absolutely an app bar. It is an app bar layout. Shadow. This is what I need to be searching for. Android, app bar layout, shadow. How do I nuke this puppy? Remove the shadow. Is that, that's not where I was before. Want to do it in code. Set outline provider null. Is that as easy as it? Simply use the elevation zero inside the app bar layout. Do I have, is that a resource I have? Don't have one. Don't have an app bar layout. Don't have it. I used Android Elevation not working. Thanks, it worked for me. Probably an API situation. You've got 177. Yeah, let's set outline provider. Sure, why not? Um, if you didn't catch it last night, a little bit of an advertisement. We had fun uh, yesterday. It was afternoon for me, evening for him, Jean-Marie. Um, from France, Paris, uh, spent some time working on the chat UI view. We had a really good time, learned lots of uh, interesting little tricks. So go check that out. The, that recording is up on YouTube and here in the video gallery. This is not where I want to be. The other one. Okay. Coordinator, CL, gives me this. And this is my app bar layout, is it not? That's what we think it is. We think it's an app bar layout. It was called a provider of some kind, wasn't it? Outline provider. See, I cannot hit that key. Um, nobody's stopping me. Nobody's telling me I'm wrong. Let's run it. A couple minutes left. If we get through this task today, that, that'd be a win. I'd call that okay.
Come on, baby. We got it. We got it. Good job, everybody. Good job. Congratulate yourselves. You all earned cookies. Every single last one of you. Because you willed it to happen. You willed it into existence. I know that you were all with me, your thoughts and prayers. So I want to come back here. Where do I want to do this? Probably not. So this is my item template. Item template is what uh, styles the uh, menu items right there. Font is really small. <clears throat> so either here I'll start goofing around with that or in my global XAML I can start screwing around with the color, uh, fonts, font sizes. So I will probably just start here and then I will later on refactor. What? Did not ask you to move anything. I just simply double clicked on that. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll just uh, kind of get the style the way I want it to. Uh, Jean-Marie had uh, done some refactoring of our fonts and things like that. Subway. Oh, Subway cookies are... When I was in high school, we used to go to Subway to get raw cookie dough cookies. Um, and it was apparently safe to eat. Maybe not, but they stopped serving them. Maybe they serve them differently now. It's a lot of sugar, very sweet. Yeah, my uh, when I when I do get my Zappy package delivery tomorrow, which is the actual package, then I will certainly celebrate. Um, font size. I'm also very eager to see um, and to use. It's better, that's closer, to use the uh, font stuff that Clancy put together. That's going to be amazing. I don't know how to navigate this thing without my... Um, Global Azure Boot Camp, Microsoft sponsored a lunch that was Subway. Ah, yeah. And had the cookies. Yeah, that seems to be a favor, favorite one. I know that they did that uh, the last time I was there. Um, for was it dot net comp and we had a meet up and they had subway for that that was cool okay um, so I'm I'm here to find the design <laughs> for this and uh, I don't know how to zoom this looks good so I can just plus and minus but that seems inefficient Shift one will get me here, and then I can find the thing I want, which I think is this, and then I can do shift two, which will get me here. Cool, cool. All right, so got some spacing issues. I don't, why, how am I, I'm in some kind of weird mode with the lines and everything. What's the deal? Just you. because I'm drilling down into these things. Don't understand. I just want to know what you are. Layout grid. Something got applied to the, the vector here, to the Figma. I don't really understand it myself. This, this is actually what I'm after anyway. All right, so it's using SF17. And it is white. Um, and so I would need to space that out a bit more, a lot more. 
So let's, uh, I guess, give this, can I give it a margin? Will a margin be sufficient? Um, that's not, I didn't do squat. More than I bargained for, of course, of course, of course, of course. So if I hold down the Alt key, oh, I can't see it there, but I should be able to see it here. Come back, come back. Zoomed too much, scrolled too much. Now I'm lost, totally lost. Way to go. Here we go. Yeah, I've got to figure out the zoom keys or whatever. Here we go. U. If I hold down the shift, it should tell me how far I am one thing to another. 20. So... If I do a margin or a padding of 10, that'll give me my 20. Like that. And then, oh, oh we're going to need some icons. And did I, I thought I did. You're binding to that. So I think I can do tab icon and then we can do a font image source and the font family is going to be static resource font awesome for now um, the glyph What space is this in? What's the namespace? Just in Zappy. So this should be local. Do I have a local? Oh, scrolling the wrong way. Yep, that's Zappy. Um, and I don't really care. Just give me something. Color of white. Size, uh, let's go with 14. Close it, save it. We have icon. Icons are had. Where are other icons here? Don't know what these are. These are actually designed. Okay, so I'll need to do something differently. These are not, but at least I get some uh, some icons in the design. It looks a little bit better, so I'm gonna do that for the rest and then swap it out later. I've never actually packaged uh, glyphs up into a font. Maybe I'll do that here because I'm so much in love with the font thing. Resources, oh, I don't know, gold, golf ball, treasure, stream, box, boxes, uh, scenarios, let's do house damage, uh, I don't know. Monument, and I'm totally pulling these out of nowhere. Toolbox. Toolbox or tools? Yeah, it's good enough for now. I do think they're a little large, though, huh? 
We'll address that later. We're about done. Three minutes. Then I'm going to go get some lunch. Getting hungry. Uh, so I just wanted to add one to the flyout header. Um, um, you are X static local icon font dot. Is there a paintbrush? There is a paintbrush. Um, oops, didn't need to do that. Font family static resource font awesome. Everybody else have big plans today? What are you doing after this? Besides eating cookies. Ooh. Ooh. Mm, that's not where you belong. And you should be a 17. Uh, uh. What's um sixty six from the top, zero from the left. <laughs> you don't have the ingredients at home to make your own cookie dough. Hmm. I want to do that and compare my templates here. 40 and 0, 40 and 0, putting them in the same spot, but getting very different results. Very, very different results. Um, wonder if I need to align this one, maybe? Horizontal alignment, center. Studying up for an interview programming test. Ugh, ugh. Do they do the one where you're just kind of all on your own? And you, do you at least get Google? Do you at least get to like search through things? Oh, I'm trying to lose weight too. I totally had. Uh, I'm on the diet of the Pop Tart. Why am I not getting uh, anything good here? This is, this is wrong. Is it the paintbrush? It doesn't have a paintbrush. Address book we know worked before. I've angered, uh, I've angered the font. I need to fix this. Go back to making an image. And then I could wipe out all that stuff. Oops. Online and timed. I think the, the, and what we do, I think in most cases, at least the last time that I was part of the interview process, is when you have uh, something to work on with the team, um, you, you basically, with the interviewer, kind of walk through problems together. Um, so you kind of get, uh, the, the interviewer gets to experience your workflow understand how you do things. I think that's a good way to go. That's not going to do anything, is it? Oh, I did. To push it down. Sweet. All right, so back to my paintbrush real quick, and then I'm done. Woohoo! 
stop. Go back to Zappy. Oof, that red, um, that's not even legible. I need to fix those colors. Yeah, those are my changes. Those are they, but I don't want those other files. All right, I will uh, work on my commit. Did a walkthrough code review thing once. It is more representative of the real world. I mean, I'm sitting here goofing around and, you know, I mean, I've got 25 years of experience and I work for Microsoft, but I still have to work through these things, especially on a new feature like this that we don't know where a lot of these things are and the, the engineer who designed it and built it is not available. So, I mean, he's available, but he's not here. So we got to go figure this stuff out and learn it just like you would learn it. And uh, I spend the time finding these edge cases. I mean, if I were walking through this process right now, have I demonstrated that I'm good enough to be hired for any engineering job? I don't know. I don't know. And we spent two hours, got through uh, a couple of things. But, um, yeah, we certainly had trouble all along the way. And if Shane hadn't been here, I'd have been toast. Yes, we are all mere mortals. Absolutely. All right. Well, good luck with your interview. And uh, thanks, everybody, for hanging out. I am off for lunch. And thanks for, for those that followed. And if you haven't followed, follow. Uh, we have guests on. And if anybody here is interested in being a guest, please join and let me know. Just shoot me an email, david.ortnow at microsoft.com. And um, I'll, have, I'll have you on. Oh, that one's still not working. All right. Adios. See ya.